Alright, hello everybody, and welcome to another video today. My name is Chris, and today we're going to be going over the reasons of why the Hamilton Mall in Mays Landing, New Jersey is probably going to be, or rather, is in some very, very serious trouble uh, of eventually becoming a dead mall. Um, so, things for the mall really started to get bad, like I would say in the late 2000s, like 2018, that's when the mall really started to take a turn for the worse and not for the better. Uh, because in 2018, I believe it was either in summer or fall of 2018, uh, it was announced that Sears and Roebuck at the Hamilton Mall in Mays Landing, New Jersey, uh, would be closing by November 25th, 2018. And this spot has remained uh, vacant since then. There has been no new anchor spot uh, at the mall. So the Sears and Roebuck store um, that was formerly located at the Hamilton Mall uh, in Mays Landing, New Jersey, is now completely gone from the mall. And by the way, as of 2021, when the store did close three years ago, uh, there has been no new tenant that has been announced for that former Sears and Roebuck store at the Hamilton Mall in Mays Landing, New Jersey. And it's funny, too, because this Sears store used to be at the uh, Shore Mall, which aka used to be called the Sears Town Mall, um, but it relocated to the Hamilton Mall in the late 1980s uh, when the property was being built. So, so yeah, Sears and Roebuck is now completely gone from the mall. Um, basically, you know, Sears itself itself is struggling as 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 a whole. It's still around in 2021, which to me is amazing uh, that that the brand and and Kmart too. It's amazing that both are still around. Uh, but it's all about real estate at this point with those two iconic brands, unfortunately. Um, and then, of course, exactly, well, not exactly one year later, but a couple months later, but in 2019, uh, it was announced that this JCPenney store at the Hamilton Mall in Mays Landing, New Jersey, would be shutting down by July 5th, which is a Friday of 2019. And the New York store, which was the Smith Haven Mall in Lake Grove, New York, also closed on that same day. So JCPenney was completely gone from the mall. And, and this was definitely looking troubling uh, for the anchor spots such as Macy's, um, you know. But there was some hope. There was some hope in late 2019 because it was announced that Shoppers World uh, would be taking the first level of the former JCPenney spot. So some hope was pumped back, back into the mall. Um, hoping that it would get better, uh, given that there was another department store choice within the mall property. So things were starting to look a little bit up for the Hamilton Mall by then, and that was, you know, solving half the problem, but you still had the upper level, which was still vacant um, from JCPenney's departure. Um, and unfortunately, here we are in 2021, and yesterday it was just announced that Shoppers World would be going out of business, um, effectively once again, putting the JCPenney spot in the same exact position it was two years ago after JCPenney shut down their store at Hamilton Mall in Mays Landing, New Jersey. And I think, you know, some of it too, probably, probably some of it, probably the lease was up, uh, for this spot and Shoppers World probably did not want to renew. And I, I, I could not, um, you know, disagree with them. I mean, especially since the fact that this mall was very, 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 very close to losing their power uh, last spring. So, I mean, them, they probably got scared by that. And that's probably why they didn't want to renew the lease. Because, you know, I mean, the other problem, too, is the mall is not owned by Namedar. And we all know Namedar has a very bad track record um, of, what's it called? Uh, maintaining malls and stuff. You know, they make all these promises, like we're going to reinvest in the center and yet they just let the property continue to rot. It's 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 sad. It's it's really sad. Um, you know, so with looking at this, with now Shoppers World gone and Sears still being vacant with no new tenant in that spot, uh, things are not looking very good for the Hamilton Mall. And also not to mention, too, the Ruby Tuesday closed at the mall. And Ruby Tuesday, unfortunately, is another one of those struggling restaurants. Um, so things are not looking too good for the Hamilton Mall. And I believe there's definitely vacancies in the food court and even the interior of the mall too. There's definitely some empty spots. So things are not looking too good for the Hamilton Mall, unfortunately. Um, the last time I was here was in 2017. So it was about four years ago, uh, before they announced the Sears and JCPenney closings. And now they're just down to Macy's. And to be honest, I even think Forever 21 and H&M are probably going to look to, uh, leave the mall too and probably just focus on Atlantic City at this point. I mean, I just, I don't see those tenants sticking around for much longer. Really, the only traffic that H&M and Forever 21 would get is the, you know, students at, at Stockton University and even then. So yeah, in regards to H&M or Forever 21, uh, they definitely lost a lot of traffic as well. Um, so it's unfortunate and it's a shame, but at the end of the day, it's, you know, what can you do, unfortunately? So 
Anyways, guys, uh, that's my video in regards to Hamilton Mall be becoming the next dead mall in the state of New Jersey. And what are your guys' thoughts? Please make sure to leave that uh, in the comment section below. So, anyways, guys, thank you again for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed this video, and that will be